First step, thing I've been telling you guys from day one for um, parabola or ellipse or hyperbola, it doesn't really matter, guys. First thing is first, please just plot the information. So here we're going from 0, um, plus or minus 3. That means we're going up or down, right? So 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Label them. Foci. The thing I remember from last class period is that the center is like the midpoint of the foci. That is true for hyperbolas as well. So I can identify the center and is now at 0, 0. Now that's important because to write the equation, I need to find hk, which is the center, which I just found. And I need to find um, a and b. Well, foci is giving me c, so that's good. But that's not really going to help me write the equation. Or that's, I'm not going to insert that into the equation. However, it does say the transverse axis has a length of 4. And the transverse axis is, again, from vertice to vertice, kind of like the major axis was from vertice, uh, vertex to vertex. So therefore, um, that's going to be 4 is equal to 2a. That means a is equal to 2. So now, knowing the relationship of a squared, b squared, and c squared, I can plug in this to what happened? Oh, that's 3. Yeah. Okay. So therefore, I have a squared, which is 4, plus b squared equals 3 squared, which is 9. So therefore, I can say b squared is equal to 5. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I, yeah. so now I have enough information to be able to write the equation. Now, should I write the equation with my a squared under my x or my a squared under my y? Well, since my foci are going vertically, that means my major, my transverse axis, I'm sorry, is vertical. Therefore, a squared should be under the y. So remember, your denominators look like this. Right? You guys can just kind of like keep that as your stock for your hyperbolas. Your denominators are always in the form of your a squared minus your b squared. And then, since, my, since I have a vertical transverse axis, it's going to be y minus k squared and then x minus h squared. So it's a little different than hyperbolas. So we know that the center is x 0 and 0, so I'm just going to leave that as y squared. a squared is 4 minus x squared over b squared, which is 5, equals 1. And that's what we call done, son. <laughs>